Welcome to Journals of the Classes. In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Rogue. Rogue. <laughs> not the car. And not the X-Man. <laughs> Although I should do it in her accent, but I'm not going to. Because I tried it, and it didn't work out so well. Nope. All right. Guile and trickery are the tools of the trade for rogues, often criminals or vigilantes. They are masters of stealth and thievery, mm. though they have a strange <laughs> lack of parents. It's unfortunate, but it's true. It really is. It's true. Our first subclass is Arcane Trickster. Illusionists are often welcomed into the ranks of criminal organizations able to sneak better than most mundane rogues. Also, their spells are so punk rock because they're just talking backwards. They're, yeah. they're just talking backwards. Assassins. Ooh. We're talking assassins here. Talk assassins. Uh, hired killers or stealth archers. Ooh. These rogues are the ultimate herding machines. No, they're the killing machines. It's, I'm sorry. Just, 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 We've yeah. been saying that word a lot. Monetization. Monetization. Yeah, so that uh, they can deliver their justice and leave without anyone ever knowing it was them. They'll be back. I don't feel like I did the Terminator thing very well. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, only Arnie can do Arnie. That's true. I can say Nada Tuma a lot better than I can say They'll be back because that's just not me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Inquisitive. These rogues are detectives and investigators. They rely on their finely honed ability to read the words and deeds of other creatures to determine their true intent. And often can be found trying to defeat Sherlock Holmes. It's all elementary, my dear players. <laughs> so Moriarty. <laughs> Although you'd think he would be mastermind. Right. But he's not. Which is the next one. <laughs> yes. Guile and intrigue are the currency of the upper class, and so the masterminds of the nobility have honed their skills of seduction and scheming to further their own goals. Further their own goals! Chaos is a ladder. <laughs> and Sansa gotcha. Gotcha. Phantom. Like Danny Phantom? Well, I'll still listen. Maybe Daniel Phantom. <laughs> like Elton John's team. Daniel Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Harboring a mystical connection to death itself. Why are there always... Every class has, like, just... Everything's hey, life or death. death in this. It's like, hey, this life class is about death. What? And... <clears throat> anyway. Demonetize. <laughs> Harboring... <laughs> Okay. Harboring a mystical connection to death itself, these rogues take knowledge from the dead and become immersed in negative energy, eventually becoming like ghosts. Oh, like MCU ghosts. <laughs> Scout! Woo! Scout, like Scout Willis. Bruce's daughter. Bruce and Demi's daughter. Similar to rangers, many scouts serve as the eyes and ears of war bands. War bands? Like they bands fun. of war, war bands. I feel like that's like a Scott Pilgrim thing. I was, I was thinking Sabaton, but okay. you know, I'm okay. I'm weird. Okay. Battle of the bands and all that. Yeah. All right. Oh, I got you. They are able to use their stealth to scout ahead of their parties and destroy foes before they can harm them. So that's kind of like they're just like buttering them up, or not really buttering them up. They're no, like, but like you know, taking out the stragglers. Yeah, taking out the stragglers. You know, making sure. What do the scouts the do if they meet each other? Is it like, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, well? Is um, there like, do they all know each other? Do you think? And this is like, my tree. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey. oh. Uh, hi, uh, hi, Izzy. Um, I just want to, yeah, I didn't know you were scouting this. Yeah, this is, I um, was scout. oh, did gosh. Did you find anything, my, or, like, is there anything to worry about? My bad, or? are you, who are you scouting for? Oh, soul knife. <laughs> A soul knife str 
strikes and infiltrates the mind, cutting through barriers both physical and psychic. They are often mistrusted by rogues who are leery of anyone using strange mind powers to conduct their business. Yet, they are still formidable thieves and killers. I feel like this is what like Professor X would have been if he had gone down a different path. <laughs> so, Magneto. No, because Magneto doesn't do the... I know. Uh, the <laughs> Dark Phoenix. So, Ian McKellen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ian McKellen. <laughs> He's just sassy. <laughs> Swashbuckler. Do, do, do. So I should say Kurt Wagner. Because <laughs> he's definitely a swashbuckler. Okay. Charming and elegant. <laughs> yeah. Still, still Kurt yeah. Wagner. Uh, these pirates and musketeers dance with their swords in a waltz that appears like <laughs> magic to the uninitiated. <laughs> See the people of Bravo. Yeah. What can they do? What do they call it? They call it uh, dancing. They call it sword, like sword dancing. Sword dancing or, or something like that. Right. I don't know. And then there are those like they're Get cultures. the comments. Yeah. Get the comments. Sound off in the comments. Um, <laughs> no, but there are also like cultures that they like they actually do dances with swords. Yeah. So, I mean that's kind of cool. And I always thought that was neat. Yeah. And our last oh. subclass of the day is. I get the stereotypical one this time. <gasps> Finally! Yay! We broke the pass. Hey! <laughs> These larceners might seem on the surface like simple pickpockets or burglars, but they are the best of the best, and often prefer to see themselves as liberators of ancient wonders, or thieves of the rich who give back to the poor. Or themselves. <laughs> Therefore. <laughs> Probably. You could even say they like to pick Pakistan. <laughs> yes. So I have been Shudu. I have been Frey. And we will see you on the next episode of Journal of the Classes. Bye. Have a good week, y'all. Enjoy.